Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And with me today is Nathan Nisey from Tilth Agronomy. And actually, Nathan, thanks for joining me. We are actually at a field day that you helped organize. Can you tell me a little bit about where we're at today? Today, we're at the Deer Run Dairy, um, operated by Derek and Dwayne Ducat. Um, today, we're talking about cover crops. We're talking about regenerative farming. And we're having a good presenter come and, come and give us the bottom line of what they're doing down in their neck of the woods. Um, at the board meetings, we get to talk with Dwayne and all the farm growers about what they would like to see. And one of the things they want to have is different thought processes that we can practice in the Demo Farms Network and different practices being different thought processes and how we can do different cover crops and, and operations. So Nathan, you're involved with a couple different groups setting up this field day, correct? The Peninsula Pride Farms Network is a farmer-led group that we're talking about conservation, but we're also working with NRCS, Natural Resource Conservation Service, DATCAP, Wisconsin Department of Agri Consumer Protection, and uh, the farmers who are pulling this together. Working together, we're bringing this and sponsoring this and trying to bring forward new conservation ideas for the whole area. We want to try to inform the public and bring new ideas to the farmers that they can go and try on their land bases. And being one of the demo farms, Ducats have obviously stepped up to the plate and done their best for doing that. So. And also with me today is Rick Clark. Rick, you are our key speaker this morning at our field day. Yes. And you know, it, come, it, it it's aware, made it aware to me that uh, you're probably not from around here. No, no, I, I'm a little out of my uh, element here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, could you tell me like wh where you're from and, and, and you have a fairly large farm? Sure, uh, West Central Indiana. So we farm on both sides of the Illinois-Indiana line. Uh, we are just north of Interstate 74, about 12 miles. So that kind of gets it uh, in the ballpark of where we are. And when I drove here, it was six hour drive and it was basically north all the way. So that's, that changes uh, regions, it changes weather, it changes climate, but that's okay because what we talked about today were the, the six principles of soil health and they will work anywhere in the world. And, and your, your main talk was on regenerative farming. Right. Tell me a little bit, in a nutshell, what right. that actually is and what do you practice? Well, in my opinion, if we truly want to be regenerative in the sense of the word, we need to eliminate everything. And I mean all inputs, all tillage, everything has to be eliminated. We get back to balance with mother nature and we start to build on a symbiotic relationship with her. This is how all of our ancestors before us did it. I mean, there were thousands of acres of grassland, bison grazing across the grassland. The fields were, were lush and healthy. I think if we use those same principles today, I think we can really start to build soil health and, and really make a difference for being a good steward of the land. And Rick, you know, you were talking and you said your next year is starting just in a few months here with our cover crops. Can you explain, you know, briefly, starting with cover crops, the process that you're following? Right. Um, typically, when someone wants to start cover crops, they're using the cover crop as a defensive mechanism. And what I mean by that is like, for example, erosion. How are we going to control or slow down erosion? Well, the first thought would be to put in some cover crops, and now you're using that cover crop as that defense against erosion. That's exactly how we got started. So then as you are going down this road and you become more comfortable with using those cover crops year after year after year, it turns into an offensive weapon because now we have totally eliminated all inputs on our farm. We haven't applied any synthetic fertilizers in, in over seven years and we are now utilizing the deep impact of the root system, the earthworms, all of these things that are helping to bring these nutrients back to the surface and then those nutrients are released back into the profile and they're pulled right back down through the po profile for your cash crop to get a hold of. Yes, and, and a very, very well presentation. Thank you. And I really appreciate your time today, yeah. so thank you so much. Well, this this is uh, one of the more beautiful places I've ever been. This Door County, Kiwanee County, this Peninsula Pride, I now know why they call the farm that, because they care about the, this land. And this is something worth keeping. So uh, if you've never been here, you need to come and check it out. Yes, I agree, absolutely. So thank you, Rick. You're welcome. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen. <laughs>